Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the plane sedimentation tank design. So the plane sedimentation tank that is called uh, type 1 sedimentation tank. So the plane sedimentation tank is used in the treatment of wastewater as well as the fresh water. So it is a method of purification of water supply where the sand and silt called sediments. So these sediments are uh, allowed to settle down in the tank where the velocity of flow is uh, kept very low or uh, nil. So whenever the velocity of flow is very less, the particle is easy to settle down. Uh, but uh, the velocity is very high, uh, the particle is suspended in the long period. So that's why the velocity is uh, kept very low in the sedimentation tank. If the specific gravity of sediment is uh, greater than 1.2, it will easily settle down because uh, uh, the more specific gravity, uh, it will uh, create more weight. So uh, it will easily settle down. So next one is uh, the primary sedimentation tank is called the type 1 sedimentation tank. So then uh, the basic principle applied in the primary sedimentation tank is uh, uh, retention of flow. So, so the condition due to which the silt particle settle down under the gravity so that is most important in the uh, primary sedimentation tank so the main thing we have to consider in the primary sedimentation tank is uh, surface overflow rate that is SOR rate uh, that is uh, settling velocity of particles so the slowest or finest moving particle gets settled down before coming out from the tank so that is most important so the settling velocity is 100% removal of silt and uh, silt is called SOR so next thing is how can we calculate the SOR ratio that is a uh, discharge of water divided by surface area. So that is SOR equal to Q divided by plane area. So the Q divided by L into B. So now the plane area equal to volume of water divided by depth of water. So this is called the plane area. So next important factor is uh, detention time or retention period. So the how much how much time required to settle down the particle or water spend the time in that sedimentation tank that is called uh, retention time or detention time. So so it is the time required to water uh, to pass through the sedimentation tank. It is given by uh, the detention time equal to volume by discharge. So this is the uh, formula. So time equal to length divided by flow velocity. So length divided by flow velocity equal to Vf. So next, uh, the generally detention time is taken as uh, 4 to 8 hours. So that is uh, based upon the how much uh, the treatment is required. Uh, then uh, the value as SOR generally uh, uh, generally uh, 12 to 18 meter cube per day per meter square. So next thing is the main steps followed in the primary sedimentation tank design. So the first one is uh, daily peak demand. So we have to find out the daily peak demand. So that is Q uh, in the city. Uh, then find out the volume of plane sedimentation tank that is required. So the volume equal to discharge into detention time. So uh, V is equal to Q into T. So where T is equal to assume the range of 4 to 6 hours, we, uh, sorry 4 to 8 hours, we already know. Uh, then third thing is uh, the volume of tank uh, given the relation. So V is equal to L into B into HW. HW
So next thing is V is equal to H W divided by T. Then V uh, V F the flow velocity equal to L by T. So we can equate uh, V S into H W equal to V F into L. So now V S uh, divided by V F equal to H W divided by L. So now uh, V S equal to V F into H W divided by L. So we can uh, find out V S over here. Then V F uh, go go there and uh, it will. Uh, multiple so v s equal to v f into h w divided by l so then v s is equal to uh, v f into h w divided into b divided by uh, l into b so we, we can uh, multiply and divide by b so h w into b divided by l into b so now v f is equal to area of uh, cross section uh, h w into b is equal to area of cross section divided by uh, l into b so now uh, v f into a is equal to q so q divided by l into b so we know the q divided by l into b is called a SOR. So V is equal to P into SOR. So V is equal to P into Q into L into B. So uh, we know this formula. So uh, we have to note that uh, the efficiency of the plane sedimentation tank is independent of the depth of the tank. It is depends upon the plane area. Okay, so now V is equal to D square into G S minus 1 into gamma W divided by 18 into mu. So we know already. So V is equal to 418 into D square into G S minus 1 into so 3 T plus 70 divided by 100. So T is equal to uh, temperature. Uh, the tank may be taken as uh, less than 12, 12 meter. The length of the tank may be taken as the not more than 3 uh, breadth up to 6 B. The depth of uh, depth of tank is taken shall not be less than 1.8 meter and uh, it shall not be uh, exceed 6 meter uh, so the 3 to 4.5 meter. So these are all the things we have to keep in mind while designing this plane sedimentation tank. Again we will see in next video. Thank you.